What's good? It's Chigozi. It's Monday, December 17th, 2018. This video is why I document things routinely, especially with specifics to Ohio and the Columbus Division of Police. You can just search Chigozi Truth, Columbus Division of Police. Look at how many videos I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Nine. Oh my goodness. Ten. Holy fuck. Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Oh my goodness. I honestly had no idea. And there's even more. Thirteen. Fourteen. I honestly had no idea I had this many. I thought it was going to be like six or seven. But you see, about like fourteen. So over a dozen videos exposing the Columbus Division of Police. And what, what are most of them about? How they're ritualistically sacrificing their own officers. Remember this video from three months ago? The Columbus Division of Police sacrificed a 15-year-old girl for the Masonic Time Ritual. This girl died and said that they blamed it on someone else. And look now. Look at the main propaganda in Ohio. Teenage girl charged in fatal SWAT sting was slain by a suspect's girlfriend. His criminal record since age 12. But look, look, look what they're all saying. I mean, girl charged with murder that the police did. The police killed the guy, the boy... The SWAT came and killed the boy, and the girl's being charged. That's what I'm saying. It's an officer-involved shooting. So literally, the police murdered her boyfriend, and she's coming out saying that her boyfriend never had a gun, and they're saying that he did. Well, if you've you watched any of my videos on this gang of Freemasons, would you believe the girl, or would you believe these people who would murder their own officer? For a watercraft. That's why they murdered him to, for a ritual for this boat they got two years later. You know, Donna Dalton, they murdered her by the numbers. They undercover cop came and killed her. He tried to get her in his car. His car, of course, she was freaked out and they killed her. And here, similar story: undercover cop killing because they were. Selling something on Facebook, because you can use Facebook ads and whatever and sell things, or there's also like a Facebook marketplace or something. And they're trying to sell an expensive item. I don't know if it was that expensive or anything, but they're trying to sell an item. And what the cops have been doing, the police have been doing, is they've been putting on sting operations. So if you say, hey, I'm going to have this item to sell, come and give me the money, especially if you make the location your house, the police are going to come, the SWAT team are going to come and do some undercover sting operation. And this is the second time it's happened where it's involved a shooting. The first person, though, he's alive still. So they come, they kill this boy, say that he had a gun, he was going to rob them, that we need to continue to do this. They literally said we, they need to continue to do this practice. And you see how people are dying. And you see how I'm calling it out well in advance in many videos, exposing this theatrical performance troupe from the federal government, putting on murderous occult, ritualistic, fake news propaganda, where, unfortunately, real people are dying. For the amount of local comments, I would definitely assume that, at the very least, Donna Dalton really did die. You know, so these aren't, aren't all just actors just being dead. People are being targeted by the police, being murdered. And check out the girl's name. Look at the girl being blamed. Look at her name. Masonique. Are you kidding me? This is the girl, the you know, the police are pinning this on. And again, guys, I don't know these people. This could be a complete act. This could be a child actor for the state of Ohio. But I'm showing you it's all by the numbers propaganda. Mother of Masonique Saunders. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Here in the state of Ohio. And it happened a couple streets down from me. It's like pretty much in my neighborhood. As I've been saying, it's always close to home in my neighborhood. They're putting on all this. Fake news propaganda. And it's fake news because, again, they're coming out saying that the girl should be charged with murder when it's clearly the police are murdering her. And they're saying that the boy had a gun, when I'm, which I'm sure he didn't, guys. If you really want to believe the police, after all the murders they've done, go ahead. Columbus 47, Ohio 47, this 10 TV tweet 647. This stuff is a bunch of crap. You're being mocked every single day by the federal government. They run the state of Ohio. And look how old they were. 16-year-old girl has been charged with murder in connection to the death of 16-year-old Julius Tate Jr.
So 16, 16, Ohio, reverse in alphabetical order, reducing each letter to single digit equals 16. Of course, Masonique equals 42, like nigger. Got to put that number in. We wrote 42, you got 142. There is a 142 in one of these videos. We'll, we'll see. We'll go through all the propaganda. Here, this is the Columbus Dispatch. This is local news. And you see it's coded by the numbers. 827 is when they post it. 827. Look at 10 TV. This is also Columbus, Ohio propaganda. Look at this. 636. Buckeye equals 2736. The two numbers I call it all the time. I say look out for these. 2736, the number for Buckeye. They put in all the propaganda. And here we have it right here. And the girl was arrested December 13th. That's a date with 36 life lesson number. 63 numerology. Columbus, Ohio equals 63 forwards and backwards, and 54, the reflection of 45, and 171, the 18th triangular number. So this is a good day for Columbus, Ohio, propping in the Columbus 34, the reflection of 43, Ohio equals 25, Columbus equals 25, I mean, are you seeing this? This is when now she's being arrested. Columbus, Ohio with these numbers, 171, the 18th triangular number, 153, the 17th triangular number. That means the sum of the numbers 1 through 17 gives you 153. Ohio is the 17th state. This is propaganda from the 17th state of the United States of America. And do you like their little R72 here? I I've seen this vehicle before. Guys, I've that's what I'm saying. They have their favorite numbers in their vehicles here. I know it's really you know, what Prince sync they're from and I don't know. But they have specific numbers. They love to drive around the 72. I see it all the time. And now look, the cop I see driving everywhere is participating in this propaganda. Buckeye 72. I have a picture on my phone somewhere of that car. I mean, I take pictures of them. I never see their numbers. 113, 115. You bet you see it here. It's like you're living out a CNN article when you live in Columbus, Ohio. You feel like you're just around all the coding, all the Freemasonry, all the propaganda, and you are. Columbus Dispatch right there. They're saying 147 years of service, although when I called the dude, the affiliate of theirs said 146. I got to double check that. But they're saying they've been around for 147 years now, Freemason 147. But let's get back to the propaganda. I like how they're speaking about this blood sacrifice on December 10th. Blood sacrifice equals one, two, one. Well, let's write December 10th. Blood sacrifice 67. <laughs> Freemasonry 5967. Scottish 5229, the 50th prime. Freemason 122. Like, this video is a treat for anyone who's just been following my videos. It's more Ohio propaganda. Here's that minute 42 second video, Freemason 42. Again, Masonique 40, 42. And I was laughing so much. I didn't really clarify. If you're completely new, I'm sorry for leaving you in the dark. This is Masonic propaganda. It's from the Freemasons. Masonic 74. Jewish 74. It's from the false Jews from the Book of Revelation. Them. This is their propaganda. They run the state of Ohio. They're the synagogue of Satan. You give you the English language, English 74. Your holiday, which equals 74, is an occult ritual, like everything else we've been seeing here. Independence Day. 74. And we're talking about Ohio, 47 reflection, Columbus, 47 the reflection, their propaganda. So you see how Masonic Saunders, <laughs> Masonic Saunders, and this Masonic ritual. And we'll look at the at the date that all happened. It happened December seventh, one two seven, like Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. So on twelve slash seven, they're doing this ritual where they're gonna blame Masonic. <laughs> it's just a joke. I I I literally live out some comic book every single day here. It's what it feels like because I know what's around me. I know every time I see a cop driving by, I cannot just think about anything else. But this bullshit propaganda they participate in. That's their only function here. <laughs> oh my goodness. 12, 7, 127 is also the 31st prime. Slave 31. When you write out 16, you get 33. This happened on the 1300 block. 
You have Mount Vernon and Champion, North Champion, Champion 1370, 33rd Prime, 43, Masonic, like Killing, Killing 38, Murder 79. So they put this ritual there. Both 16 years old, Ohio 16, on a date with Columbus specific numerology. The girl's getting arrested. Let's look at the 7th, the day it actually happened. It was on a Friday. Freemason 48, Scottish Rite 57. And again, on a day with 57, 48 numerology, Masonique Saunders is involved. Mason 73 to Reflection 37, Saturn 30, 21, Black Man 57, 21, blame this on a black boy, Nigger 30. That's why these two black people are involved. As it usually is in the south side or the east side of Columbus, Ohio. That's where they like to put out this type of propaganda. It's also 102 seconds. Nigger 102. 42. And it's about two black people murdered by the Columbus Division. Oh, one person. You know, they're gonna, what if they charge this girl with murder and put her in jail for life? That's why I'm trying to be clear with this video. I hope this video serves as evidence that Masonic Saunders is either an actor or she's innocent. So if you're here, I mean, usually the family members always find a way into my video. If you're here, your loved one is innocent. She's being framed by the police. This is another classic tale. I have compiled so much evidence against them. Feel free to watch all my videos with no ads at all. Explain how they're doing this crap by the numbers every single day. 11 minutes in, not too bad. There's a little bit more I want to talk about. Again, 647 Columbus, Ohio, putting that on. The name Saunders equals 47 like Ohio, 29 like Ohio, 115 like Masonic, like Killing. Although, the guy who died, his name was Julius Tate. Look at his last name. Notice how Saunders, you, the closest you get to sacrifice is 101, the 26 prime, sacrifice 62 to reflection. You don't get the 46, you don't get the 62, but look what you get in Tate. Sacrifice 46. Sacrifice 62, kill 26, Saunders, Ohio. Do you see the overlap here? And that's also why I'm like, that's why I'm calling her an actor potentially. Not insulting her, I'm just saying these people are always synced up, coded super well. So either she's targeted, there's an actor. Julius Tate Jr., I have his name decoded. Well, you can just see it here. Police said they responded to an ad on social media site to exchange an item for cash. It was probably Facebook or something. Facebook 58, like Freemasonry. They do everything by the numbers 58. All my day traders, look up for 58 numerologies, 5 slash 8, 8 slash 5, Facebook propaganda can happen, will happen. So police did not know the identity of the person posting the sale ad, so undercover SWAT officers responded to the ad and set up a meeting, you know, with a little kid, 16 years old. Police say he arrived at the meeting place Friday evening and pointed a gun at SWAT officer in plain clothes, like he was trying to rob the SWAT officer because he's coming to take it, and the team was shot and killed right by another officer. They even tried to disarm him. They just shot and killed him right away. That's why this doesn't even make sense. I know the police are supposed to just kill people right away and defend themselves right away. I get it. But if you really want to believe the police won this, like, this is all you have. This is all your evidence that the police are just doing this. This bullshit story. This is their propaganda. I'm sure this is synced up with the Julian calendar, too. Because that would be what? 10 slash 7 the Julian calendar, 107, the 28th prime, kill 28, kill 17, very big kill number. Yeah, this is what the police do. They use other calendars, they use all this occult crap, always the sun ritual. That's what the SWAT team's involved. 
SWAT 27, like Buckeye, Sun 27, SWAT 9, Sun 9, Buckeye and Sun, Ohio's the big sun on their seal. And the ALW cipher, the Kabbalah cipher, Sun equals 36. Police equals 30, so I think with a lifeless number 30, the police are killing this boy, blaming it on the girlfriend. Let's see what girlfriend, if that has any relevance for Gematria. Girlfriend 102, just like that 102 video. Nigger 102, Nigger 60. Part of the race shaming ritual. Kia David 168. Gotta have that pattern in Ohio propaganda. Julius, you know, with the Ohio numbers again, Ohio 29. Julius Tate 30. Full reduction. Murder on a date with a lifeless number of 30. A lifeless number of 30. His you know, life is over. See? Again, either targeted, an actor, doesn't exist at all. Again, I don't know these people. I can't just sit here and say exactly what it is about him. But I can tell you that this is exactly a by-the-numbers ritual put on by the police. It's not organic whatsoever. They are responsible for this. No Freemasonry 158, his full name. Blood Sacrifice 86. Also, that 42, Masonique 42, it's a teenage girl being charged. Again, that's the female number, Lady 42. You know, bitch, like a female dog, 42. You got female, oh, feminine. 42, woman 24, so you get it. And you, you know how they like to put it, please kill black, this I think this is a black specific propaganda source, but that's, that's what the Freemasons want. And then put this type of words, please kill black teen. It's just more racially divisive propaganda, which the state of Ohio loves participating in. Posted on December 16th, you know, about the two 16-year-olds, Ohio 16. You know, why wait till the 16th to post this? Julius Irvin Tate. Oh, I have the police update report, you know? <laughs> You remember the police media releases where I always look at? Yep, it's sitting here. But guess what's not here? The actual event isn't here. Because it happened the 7th around Mount Vernon and Champion, but I don't see that here. I just see the update. So that's what I'm saying. These propaganda events like this isn't really here. They're, they're selectively giving us the information. By definition, this is all propaganda. Now do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> When all they do is put up propaganda. This is literally by definition propaganda. Lying through a mission. Just giving us the little update. Let's see what Mount Vernon sounds sums to. Blood sacrifice one two one. Mount Vernon one seventy one. 54, 54, like Columbus, Ohio, and I think we've already done this before, because Mount Vernon, Ohio, where, isn't that where, what's-her-face died? Steinbrenner, the wife, the Steinbrenner lady, she died, the MLB Yankees actor, dying in Mount Vernon, Ohio. What if that synced up with this? Who knows? Could be. So I think that's it with my notes. I showed you how it was always posted at 827, and then the other one was 36 minute of the day. I think that's a really good example that you can't overlook. I talk about the Buckeye State, the Buckeye numbers all the time, and just these are the two main pieces of Ohio Columbus propaganda. This batch is the newspaper, and of course in the age where newspapers are falling off, this is their online propaganda software, which serves the same purpose. 10 TV. This is Columbus local news, aka fake news Zionist Jew propaganda from the Jesuit order, the Masonic order of the Catholic Church. You know, Kill 26, Mason 26. So do you see the TV version, the, the 
newspaper the two main sources of Columbus propaganda, and one's posted at 827, others posted at 636. And this is the capital of the Buckeye State. I really think this is one of the most per perfect Buckeye examples I've seen, just how they're paralleling them on their two different flavors of propaganda. So that's why I'm, I'm really stressing this. I think it's very important to just look at it. And now you know where to go for more fake news propaganda from the, <laughs> from the state of Ohio. This is where you get it from. You know, the dispatch. Yeah, police warn public to use safe zones for online transactions. Warn criminal stings to continue. It's almost like I want to put one of these on and bait them in and see how by the numbers they're going to do it all. But make, but thing is, that's so dangerous because if I'm unarmed, it doesn't matter. It's going to kill me and say, oh, I had a gun on me. So I'm not going to do that. I, I value my life. But, you know, because why would they waste all that time putting on the ritual to not kill me or to not do something? Turn me into some propaganda. Look at this. Posted at 1046. See, during all their sacrifices in this ritual. Sacrifice. 46. Yeah, I need to close this video. My spelling is just, my hands are just not working right now. Sacrifice 46. Killing 74. We we're talking all about 74, right? Mason Masonic 74. This is a more propaganda about the Masonic <laughs> Saunders case. You know, if you're Masonic Saunders family, understand I'm not laughing at your girl's name at all or insulting i'm literally it's funny how the police are targeting your family member because her name is masonic and they're using it in this in this masonic ritual and see all this piece of propaganda now updated at 740 again masonic 74. sonic 74 740 mocking her in this propaganda oh eric richard is the one who did this remember richard just we had rich john richard Kasich. we had richard dewine Richard Mike DeWine, and then Richard Cordray. Those two actors running for governor, and the current one we had is John Richard Kasich, the three Richards. And now, and I said, look out, Richard is an important name to the state of Ohio. And now this piece of Ohio propaganda, <laughs> the officer who shot her, who shot him, and they're blaming it on the girl, Officer Eric Richard. He's 28 years old. Mason equals 28. Richard, 61, 47, like Ohio. 43, like Masonic. Eric Richard. Also, those initials. E is the fifth letter. R is the 18th. 1 plus 8 is 9. 59, like Freemasonry, like Kill and Jewish Gematria. See how Eric Richard equals 21, 201, and 75? Just like how the kid was murdered on a date with 21, 57, numerology reflection. Scottish Rite, 57. New World Order, 75. Saturn, 21. Nigger, 102, the reflection. Girlfriend, 102, the reflection. Freemason, 96. It's definitely a Freemason. 100% sure of that. Officer Eric Richard. You had the officer. Look at that. 158, like Freemasonry. 113, like Scottish, like dishonest, like green screen, like mainstream. And think about it. It's a fake news propaganda event. They killed this boy and are blaming on a girl. And look at the officer who shot her. Was 113 this deceptive number? Baba Kamal 113A says it's okay for the Jews to circumvent the Gentiles through deception in a legal setting. Well, this, this involves an officer, so it's obviously a legal setting. Even if it didn't, it's still be a legal setting. Here they're deceiving you, saying that, you know, she they're charging her when obviously the officer did it, and they're saying that she was an accomplice and that they were defending themselves. You know, complete bullshit. You know, circle one one two, mathematics one one two, Zionist one one two. So dishonest one one three, Scottish, green screen, mainstream, not true. Not factual, and that's exactly what this propaganda is. Fiction. It's a bunch of fiction from the city of Columbus. This is their fiction. Clearly it's fiction. I mean, they're blaming it on her when they shot her. It's fiction. It's phony. It's bullshit. 
one one three. Politics also equals one one three. This is bullshit propaganda. Look at this. I even like this. Look at this 30, <laughs> 34 right here. This is what I'm saying. They have these numbers in their cars and they're using them in this propaganda. And I just see these fucking assholes driving around all the fucking time, these stupid fucking vehicles that I'm fucking paying for, slaving away for this bullshit gang. Your tax dollars pay for this too. They don't, your tax dollars don't just stay in your state. So paying taxes, you're paying for this, for this theatrical performance. See the R72 here again? R's 18th letter, Sun 18, 27, Buckeye 2772, the Sun, the Buckeye, same Gematria. Here's 34, Murder 34, Columbus 34. See this police cruiser with the 34 about this murder? You see this propaganda? It is by the numbers. Murder 34, Columbus 34. This is a Columbus, Ohio murder. It's not a murder mystery. It is a murder from the police. They murdered this boy by this number code system. They're blaming it on this young black girl ruining two black people's lives and their families' lives. And they're putting on propaganda. Oh, yeah, this is important. Has criminal record since age 12, of course. This young black boy with a criminal record since age 12. You know, 12 number for completion. Like, I mean, this is complete propaganda. Even if he did have a criminal record, what does that mean? Does that mean that he did this? No. That doesn't mean shit. You see that? Illogical propaganda. If you have a critical record, it does not mean that if you post an ad to sell an item that you're going to stick up someone. That's That doesn't mean anything. That's not a logical connection. This is illogical propaganda. Kill 28. Mason 28. You know, Kevin Stanky Wicks with the photo. You know, some Zionist Jew taking the photo. Putting out bullshit Zionist Jew propaganda. I'm so sick of this shit. You know, nigger 148, reflection of 841. 148 in the Jewish cipher. So I hope this video was clear. I hope I didn't clip the entire time. I, I turned my, my input down. Because I, I can kind of yell when I talk about this bullshit. People got, I mean, think about just seeing these fuckers every single day. You know, Sun 18. Talk, this is the previous one. Two days before Tate was fatally shot. It's so think about it. they put in the sting operation. Someone gets shot. Two days later, someone gets shot and killed. Oh, we're gonna keep putting this on. It saves people. It's so good. That's what they were saying in this propaganda. That they could, they want to still do it. And they're saying Kyle Collier was critically wounded by SWAT and now he's in stable condition. You know, on the southeast side. Here, this is the Near East Side, East Side, Southeast Side. This is why I put on all this propaganda. That's what I've been saying since day one. That's why this place has a bad reputation. It's not even that bad over here. It's just that <laughs> the Freemasons put on all their rituals over here. And people read the propaganda. Look at this. Look at this shit. The first dude who was shot and named some Siwan. <laughs> 127. When did Julius get murdered? 12 slash 7. See? Sacrifice 62, sacrifice 170, sacrifice 55. The numbers are sacrificed in the first victim's name. And who knows? They can say he dies later on, you know? You guys, I don't know if this guy exists. This guy very well does not exist. Kyle Collier. You know, look at his initials. K's 11th letter, C's the third, 113. Just talking about that number. 113 initials. Officer Eric Richard, 113. Sacrifice. All the same numbers as... What a bunch of fake news propaganda from the state of Ohio. I cannot believe this. I mean, I, I, I do their propaganda all the time, but just every single time I do it, it's just more coded every single time. I, I can't believe I'm even saying that because it's just so fucking coded anyway. Kill equals 64. Kyle Col Collier, 64. Because K's the 11th letter, you don't need to reduce it. So 11 plus all the reductions, 64. So, you know, this is a 30 minute video, but I think it's 30 minutes of well put together examples by the police. All I did was put together this little dinky blog post <laughs> and look at all else we saw looking at the Columbus Division of Police's propaganda. These people are a murder cult. I cannot be any more obvious and serious right now. Columbus Division of Police equals 117, like Buckeye. 
360, a lot like the number 36, Buckeye 36. Updating the prop began at 636, arresting the girl and date with 36, lifeless number. The key of David 135. Ohio also equals 117 in the Jewish cipher. The Columbus Division of Police, you get 147, like Freemason. The sundial in front of the Capitol Square in this Columbus has all the numbers on the front of that sundial on the face. You add them all up, you get 147. 147 windows in the White House. Columbus dispatch now in their 147 years. They're putting out extra propaganda. But that's hard to that's hard to detail. How can I figure out if they're putting out extra propaganda? I mean, it's all literally all they do 24-7. Every nanosecond of the of the existence of this world. Literally every nanosecond, there's some new code bullshit they're coming out with. The Columbus Division of Police, 48, like Freemason, 147, 48. I mean, just the fact that Freemason sums with these two, and we get that in their name, what does that tell you? They are the Freemasons. Over 90% of police, 95% of them are Freemasons. And if they keep the reverse ordinal too, it's not hard to see what these people are doing. And look, and this is another video now added to this complete list of all the bullshit propaganda they've been participating in. You know, finding a mummified body near OSU's campus, I remember that. This is some stupid bullshit. It's all they do. This is retarded. This is why I, don't, I objectively do not like the police. It's not an opinion. It's very f fair and logical for me to sit here and say, I hate the police. This is why. You know, Columbus, Ohio 54, Sun 54, Ohio 25, showing the gun of the of the boy versus the, the police. You know, showing They love to show off their arsenal. They really do. They left showing off their guns in person and on their website and the property software here. Free, Freemason 48, Columbus Division of Police 408, 448, updating this propaganda. Illuminati 48. Remember the boy was murdered and it with 48 numerology too. Chaos 19. Shooting 37. That was important. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't miss that. It was in my notes too. Shooting 37. They were 37, numerology, they're shooting this boy by the numbers. Boy also equals 42. Here we go. So I hope this video serves as more evidence as the world you live in that the police cannot be trusted. They need to be put out of commission as soon as possible before you know your loved one is killed. You can't just sit here and be like, well, I didn't know him. Who fucking cares if you didn't know him? If that was your own nephew, your own niece, your own brother, killed by this gang, the police, you know? That's the worst way. Have them murdered by this fucking cult. People are fucking sick. They're disgusting. And they're murdering people, and I'm so fucking tired of it. So, you know, we need to stop these people any way, any way possible, as quickly as possible, or this, this is just going to continue. And again, it is going to continue. They literally said, <laughs> warn, criminal stings to continue. <laughs> you see, these people are tyrants. They love killing. I can't wait for the next killing ritual they put on. I don't want it to happen, guys. It's going to happen. I hate to say it, it's going to happen. It's like, you know, a new string of rituals going to put on. So I would say if you're in a Columbus, don't even sell shit online. And if you do, or don't do it, but meet at a public place. Meet at a place where the police are there. Like, you know, meet in like a parking lot somewhere of like a major grocery store where people are with kids because the police aren't going to shoot up. Well, actually, they, yes, the police will still shoot it up if kids are there if the propaganda event specifies it. But in general, they probably won't do that. So I would do that. And I think they recommend that in this propaganda too. You know, be in a public space. Don't have these assholes at your house. Because they'll murder you and blame it on someone else. Ohio 25. Officer Robert Vass is the one who, you know, this asshole, is the one who shot Kyle Collier. We, we got to do his name real quick. Collier, the last name of the kid. Masonic 43, Masonic 115, Masonic 38, Masonic 74. I cannot emphasize this enough. It is all Masonic propaganda. You know, Ohio 50, Ohio 16, 53 is the 16th prime. Ohio the 17th state. 
Sacrifice 55. Obviously, Robert Voss. Masonry 105. 201 again. Like, didn't, isn't this the current officer? Doesn't the name else something 201? I cannot believe this right now. I hope not. Eric Richard 201. I mean, come on. Eric Richard 201. Officer Robert Vest 201. This is a numerical ritual from the Columbus Division of Police. I cannot make it any more clear. Again, the, also 102, like nigger, like girlfriend, like the video length, under two seconds. 84, like masonry. His name is Robert. Robert equals 33. Freemasonry 139, Freemasonry 58, Scottish 32, 131, the 32nd Prime, Pillar 68, Zionist 40, Mathematics 40, Robert 33, Scottish Rite 78, 33 degrees of Scottish Freemasonry, Robert equals 84, like this full title, Masonry 39, 84, 33. And that's what I'm saying. That's all you get here. Ohio, and then you get the Ohio numbers for the last name. Ohio 61, Ohio 25, Ohio 47, Ohio 29. What a bunch of fake news propaganda from the state of Ohio. Every time we decode it, <laughs> it's the same ritualistic pattern. And again, seven. I talk about this all the time. Seven, you're out seven. You get 25, 29 like Ohio, time 20. We get seven, 65, nights 10 part 65. So there we go. Of course, this video ended up being a decent chunk of time, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Just, just take a glimpse over this. I cannot believe we had Robert Voss, Vass, you know, bitch ass fucking police. Time 61, 47, 29, 25. Ohio and time. That's the sun's the keeper of the time. Saturn's the keeper of time till you call. That's why the sun and Saturn have these numbers with Ohio. Pi, 2529. Well, just take a good look at this. This is Ohio's propaganda. See the numbers that always surface. And th that's why I'm saying this all leads me to say that this is just a, a complete contrived propaganda event. None of these people even exist or there's a bunch of actors. But again, if you're coming here, you really know these people and you're really like involved in this, well then take this to the courthouse. It does, but guess what? It doesn't work in the courthouse. People say, well, this, you can't use the court of law. Yeah, they're right. Because the court of law is run on this. The people at the top, the judges, they're all Freemasons. They're, not gonna do, they're just going to be like, oh, it's coincidence. So, um, but, you know, show it to your lawyer. Figure something out. Get more money with your settlement using my video. It's very clear that this is a ritual. Who? Oh, yeah, Kyle Collier. You're still alive. You know, I hope you find this video. I should, I'm going to find this kid. If he's still I'm going to fucking find him. I'm going to fucking figure out what this guy is. I mean, he's around here somewhere. Probably like a few miles down the street. Yep, in Duval Lane, in the parking lot of Duval Lanes, where he was ritualistically almost murdered. Oh, Scottish 32, Freemasonry 58, Secret Society 58, 166. And of course, you know, Buckeye 36, Buckeye 72, Sun 18, Sun 9, Sun 27. Always a sun ritual from the state of Ohio. So yeah, Kyle Collier, you were involved in a sun ritual. The police used you in a ritual. And who knows, you're probably supposed to die, but, you, you know, they probably just let you live. Critically wounded. So if you can find me, I can find you. If you exist, you're not just some actor, some fake, contrived, fictional character. No different than Harry Potter. If you're actually a real person, you need to meet. And then to let you know that you were almost murdered by the police, by this ritualistic system. Peace out. Two days before Tate was fatally shot, 18-year-old Kyle Collier was critically wounded by SWAT cover officer Robert Voss. So, again, two days before then, that's a date with 5546 numerology. So, two days later, we have Tate shot. Two days later on 12-7, Kyle Collier 127. So, the two days before, Kyle 55... Get sacrificed, which equals 55. Chaos, 19. Kill, 17. See how Kyle equals 17, 55, 19. Here, he was targeted on a date with 
17, 55, 19 numerology. Every time. See, different actors, different set of numbers, same rituals, same patterns. These are sacrifice, kill numbers. Kill, sacrifice. It's also a Thelemic ritual. Thelema is the occult religion founded by Aleister Crowley is what they say. It's very older, much older than that. They honor the number 93. Saturn, Saturn is the keeper of time. Saturn sums to 93. Into Saturn worship. And here, 93 and Saturn and the sun. Sun is the keeper of time like Saturn. So you see how Thelema equals 28, 35. In this ritual, the sun ritual, and it's also on 12 slash 5. Thelema 125, 28, 35. 64, the reflection of 46. You get all these numbers here, right here in the date numerology. And I've been saying the state of Ohio putting on Thelemic rituals all the time. Kyle equals 53. 12 slash 5. 1 plus 2 is 3. So that's 5 slash 3 in most parts of the world. Satisfies all these as well in the propaganda. You know, call you again. Masonic. Same numbers. Ohio, 47 reflection. Columbus, 47, 34 to reflection. Murder, 38. Killing, 74. So again, Kyle, if you're real, if you're, but with his 113 initials, I think he's just a made up fictional character, like pretty much all these other people are. But again, the, the glistening hope if he's real, I need to find him, figure this out. 